We welcome you back to The Six, where we're talking about keeping up with the times. Outdated zoning laws make it difficult for developers to turn Cleveland's inner ring suburbs into desirable places to build new homes. But at long last, change is on its way to Cuyahoga County. Homabash has details on the solution in the works. We know Northeast Ohio is filled with history and Cuyahoga County is chock full of charming historical homes. But thanks to the Great Recession back in 2008, thousands of those homes have been torn down over the years, leaving behind vacant lots like this one that have been nearly impossible to build on. This is a little wonky. Zoning laws, <laughs> code changes, all of it can be confusing to say the least. But updating the outdated zoning in our first ring suburbs is a priority for the Cuyahoga County Planning Commission. We want to see new housing options for new sizes and types of families. Right now, there are 4,000 plots of what's called infill housing available in Cuyahoga County. That means these vacant one-off plots to build a single family home, not big swaths to put up brand new developments. There's no question that Cuyahoga County is a great place to live, but again, people want new and innovative housing and you have to be responsive to the market. The 19 first ring suburbs are made up of cities like Lakewood and Fairview Park on the west side, Euclid and the Heights to the east, Parma and Berea to the south. While some of these communities have updated their residential zoning laws over the years, others are stuck in the 40s, 50s, 60s. Like South Euclid, who hasn't really reviewed theirs since 1969. But unfortunately, with how our zoning code is written, it can make new construction tough. Like this new build on a lot that sat vacant for more than a decade and required numerous variances to become reality. So this just started construction a few months ago and it'll be ready to hit the market soon? Yeah, within two months. It's why Euclid and South Euclid are part of a pilot project teaming up with the Planning Commission to revamp their code by the end of the year. The end goal? Answering this question. How do we improve that process? How do we make it easier for a developer or builder to come into our community and build in these smaller one-off lots, but still make a home that's attractive to our neighbors? Since the Cuyahoga Land Bank was created in 2009, they've demolished more than 9,300 vacant homes. With the housing market so hot and inventory so low, now comes the time to build back up. For the Land Bank, that means 21 new construction homes already sold another 15 being built. Essentially what we're looking to, to do is to go into markets that with the land bank's time, talent and treasure, we could tip it in a way that will cause other private developers to want to come into that same market and invest their money. Because at the end of the day, the idea is to give people newer housing with modern amenities like first floor living, open floor plans in already established and well-loved neighborhoods. Because it brings new people, new investment, into communities that we already know that people are already living. Homa Bash, News 5.